when we're thinking about how does one become a farmer, um, there's a very, very little pathways into that. So first you could be growing up in a family of farmers and learn in that way. Uh, but that's also very rare considering that the average age of a farmer in Canada is upwards of 60. So there's another way you could do it, which is to go to school at Guelph or Humber to learn about um, agriculture, which is a very valid and a really great option. But not everyone maybe lives in, the, in those areas or maybe has access to uh, learn that way. And then the last choice is you could work on a farm, which is primarily what the majority of young farmers do is they work on an organic farm. But many of these options are actually unpaid internships. So that's why we're seeing a lot of um, lack of BIPOC youth in agriculture, because there's really not any education opportunities. Opening a book and learning about farming is great, but you need that hand in the dirt action to know how to harvest the spinach or tackle a slug issue. So th those are the issues that I'm seeing within education. So I tried to find a solution with starting growing in the margins. And I truly think that for me, when I think about when I started farming, I was very, very maybe stubborn, but I didn't want to learn on a farm that didn't reflect me. So I didn't want to learn to basically farm from someone who wasn't BIPOC because I knew that uh, food has a color, right? Food has a color and that is often seen in, for example, the exploitation of migrant workers, but it's also seen in who actually gets to farm. When I go to an organic farming convention, I can usually see at least um, two people of color. That's probably the maximum I've ever seen in an organic farming convention, me and someone else. Um, so when I'm thinking about getting into agriculture when I was, um, I was say around 20, um, I did not see anyone else who looked like me. So I didn't have anyone to ask what their experience was because I've dealt with a lot of racism within the food system as a farmer um, and also as not a farmer. So having someone to ask questions with, having someone to mentor me would have been such a beneficial experience.